Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're looking for the Mermaid of Zena. Our walk today is taken from Classic Walks Cornwall 2, Zena and Pendower Cove. Zena is on the north coast of the Penwith Peninsula. To help us grow our channel, please subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon. We've come to Zena today, parked in the car park in the centre of the village. A pound! Yeah, brilliant. Very reasonable. Lovely car park, all laid out, a bit of overflow over there. We're on the tail of mermaids. The church plays a big part in the story. Andrew won't be happy with pass in the pub. Maybe later, eh? It's right next to the car park. There's a little sign tucked away in the grass. Coast path. Past the barn. With a mermaid on it. Oh, I think it's going to be mermaids all the way. This little tarmac lane is going to take us down to the coast. I can see the sea already. To Zeno Head. The sea! Oh, I'm really looking forward to this today, Sarah. It's such a still, beautiful, calm day as well, isn't it? Come on then. Come us on. Farms down this way always have such tiny little fields. Do you think that's a hangover from years gone by? You've got a hangover, have you? <laughs> I told you to take it easy last night. So what brings people to Zena? Well, the mermaid of Zena, of course. Wonderful childhood story, myth, legend, whatever. It's been around for donkey's years. In the church, there's a pew, isn't there, Andrew? There is, dedicated to the mermaid of Zena. How old was it? It's about four to five hundred years old. So the story has had longevity hasn't it? It's yeah. perpetuated through myth and fairy tale and all the rest of it so we're gonna look out for mermaids today. Oh I like a good old mermaid. <laughs> Sarah are there any instructions for this walk? <laughs> yeah well, it just says follow this lane to the coast. It's been well signposted as well hasn't it? We have an instruction it says cross the stone stile and follow the National Trust sign so it says turn left signed pending watch on the coast path Stand, uh, descending steps with the aid of a handrail i don't like the sound of that look at that do you think it's always this calm down here no <laughs> So how would you rate this path so far? Well, it's very good. It's steep obviously in places, but they put the steps in and you've got a handrail. Yeah, it's passable with care, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you just need to take your time and be sensible about it. Yeah, quite enjoying it actually. The views is absolutely amazing, the views aren't they? Are absolutely spectacular. Have you seen what we're going over next? I know, I'm excited. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> let's go, let's go. The main path goes over these boulders. We'll pick that up again in a minute. We're just going to take this path on the right. We should be able to see the cove where the actual mermaid legend began. Here we are, Pendower Cove. This is where the legend of the mermaid of Zena actually starts from, really. So from here, she's meant to have been able to hear Matthew Truella singing in the church back at Zena. Most beautiful voice. She wanted to know who it was and she disguised herself, sat in the back of the church, cloak on, but she still stood out because she had the most beautiful golden hair. Nobody in the village knew who she was. Anyway, she managed to lure Matthew Truella out with her under the sea. The villagers never knew where he went until one day they heard a bell tolling. 
What are you doing? Listening for the bells. I thought you had something in your ear. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, so the rumour has it, if there's a, a bad storm coming in, or there's any danger to Zena, you'll hear the bells, which are hidden under the ocean, in the lost land of Lioness. So Matthew is there, apparently he's pulling on the bells as a warning. I can't hear him, so we're fine. Oh good, let's carry on then. <laughs> It's a little bit rocky in places. Gingerly pick your way through. Where does it say to go now? Just keep to the main boulder strewn coast path, gradually climbing before levelling out to pass above Vio Cove, crossing a small stile. Okay, let's go. See, it could be true. It's a lovely romantic story. Not convinced. Ah, uh, well, what do you think it was then? I think it was a 15th century tourist ruse. They wanted them to fly down here, <laughs> come down for their holidays, book some accommodation down in Zena and check it out. <laughs> and walk the coast path a bit. Yeah. Oh, but it's such a romantic story. She fell in love with his voice and just wanted to be with him. I think it's a bit of a fishy tale. Oh, let's just keep going. I don't think I'm going to convince him. What do you think? A tall story or a beautiful fairy tale? One last glimpse before we round the headland. Let the sun's on the water. Can you see through? Can you see any little mermaid caves? That water actually today is looking so beautiful. It's shimmering. It's kind of ethereal the way it joins the horizon. Just the odd patch of dark water. Oh, what a beautiful day. So you're trying to tell me the villagers didn't realise there was a mermaid at the back of the church? Well, I know she's... she had a shawl on and everything, and it was probably dark in there, but like the puddle of water on the floor, <laughs> the smell of wet fish... <laughs> no, you're, not... <laughs> you're really not buying into this story, are you? Well, she'd have to get all the way from there up to the church. Yeah, well, the, the... look, Disney sorted that one out for you. She has a pill that lasts her and gives her legs that she can walk on the streets. There's a song about it and everything. So she wouldn't like waddle up like a penguin. <laughs> We're up so high, I can see the run of the land. Just kind of cascades down to the water. Headland in front of us. Halfway to the next cove. Still going, halfway through the year. I need to add up the miles. <laughs> So we've come up the hill, it says it gradually levels out before passing above Veal Cove, crossing to a small style. So that's our next landmark. This honeysuckle is giving us the most delicious scent as we're walking down this coast path. Beautiful! Oh, I'm so happy! What a lovely story! Do you think it's real then, do you? They fell in love and then they lived under the sea. Ah, I just think it's a fishy tale. This coastal path at times is quite difficult to negotiate in terms of where you put your feet without hurting them. My soles are quite thick but I can still feel they're starting to hurt with standing all these rough old stones. I really love this area of Cornwall, the moorland and the craggy rocks. Very dramatic but it does feel quite ancient, remote and so peaceful. So there's a question for you. Do you prefer it on a day like this or do you prefer it on a stormy day? I love both. 
love the drama of the sea that you feel the wind on your face and that je slight sense of jeopardy but today it's beautiful as well now leave the coastal path heading inland towards a granite house okay past adjacent to the boundary wall so what's so special about this property then sir <laughs> i know i know pigeon on the roof no the view. Oh no 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 no, you always moan about coastal erosion. Yeah we're on granite cliffs then yes, it's alright. So then we follow the driveway track for just under half a mile. So if you're new to our channel you're very welcome. We do walk around Cornwall, this is what we tend to do, our vlogs around Cornwall, hopefully they're entertaining. We also go to Dot Martin and pulled up filming locations. The other thing we've started to do this year is accommodation vlogs and that's been really fun. We can only do so many of those a year as you would understand but hopefully you can delve into our channel and have a good route around, find something you enjoy watching. If you are new to our channel, hello, welcome, thanks for subscribing. And don't forget it is Tell a Friend Tuesday. <laughs> What's that? Tell them to subscribe as well. It's also We Want You Wednesday. Yeah. And thanks for subscribing Thursday. Yeah. And friends, if you've got any, tell them Friday. <laughs> Rosa Ragosa. Really old fashioned rose, isn't it? I love it. Climbing a little towards houses, and it says pass the property on the left and then bare left to take a track proceeds past attractive stone cottages on the left. The arrow is a clue, Sarah. Another one here. Yeah. Telegraph pole, that's in the instructions, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Hello, my gorgeous. Are we going the right way? We will follow the cows. They're all coming through now. They think you're going to milk them. So you reckon we go across the field, do you? Not I'm to not the left? I'm not sure. Walk adjacent to the left hand field, past the metal gate, following the direction of the Waymark Arrow. You can see the post over there, I reckon it goes up and across yeah. anyway. Let's go to the left. So the only time I wouldn't come into a field of female cows is when they've got calves with them. It's not sensible, is it? Them, aren't yeah. They? And they will protect the babies. Gorgeous, aren't they? They are quite cute. And oh, watch where you're putting your feet, by the way. Girl. Which one of you lot did that? Oh. Own up. I want it cleaned up before I go home. <laughs> go on, keep moving. Two more fields to cross and then we should see the Tower of Zeno Church. Sarah, look, Truey Farm, the Mann family. Supplies Rodders Cornish Clotted Cream. He's the milkman. Oh! <laughs> so we're just going to finish up by having a little look in the church. I want to see this pew carving. fishing net presumably preventing the birds getting stuck in the church.
half was in a mermaid. Any good is it? <laughs> Our walk today is taken from Classic Walks Cornwall 2. It's walk number five, two and a half miles. Quite a short one actually, a lot of them are longer than that around this area. Zena and Pendower Cove. So a quick review of the map. We actually start in the village, go past the church, come out to the coast. You get to Pendower Cove, the actual legend cove, and walk back across fields to Zena. I walk around Zena looking for mermaids. I've had a brilliant time. Oh, we've been wanting to do this for ages and it didn't disappoint. It's been fabulous today, hasn't it? Coastline is amazing. And you've always got that sense of the romance of the story behind it as well, haven't you? Perhaps it is true. So the, the instructions were brilliant, the map worked, everything was okay, we didn't get lost. What would you score it? For me, it's a 10 out of 10. Fabulous. Oh, really? Yeah, I've had a great time. Yeah, I think I agree. Thoroughly recommended. And if you've enjoyed this walk, please subscribe.